pockets here, yeah. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to witness as Dean and Jody join their lives together in holy matrimony, the most sacred of relationships. Because, of, because you have known and loved them as individuals, you have been invited to share in this joyous moment as they join their lives together as one. Dean and Jody? Yes. Before you are joined together in marriage, in my presence, in the presence of these, your family, friends, and God, I am to remind you of the serious and binding nature of the relationship you are now about to enter. Marriage, as most understand it, is a voluntary and full commitment of a man to a woman and a woman to a man. It is made in the deepest sense to the exclusion of all others and is entered into with the desire, hope, and firm intention that it will last for life. Happiness in marriage is not something that just happens, for a good marriage must be created. In the art of marriage, the little things are the big things. It is never being too old to hold hands. It is remembering to say I love you. It's at no time taking the other for granted. It is having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It is standing together and facing the world, doing things for each other, not in the attitude of duty or sacrifice, but in the spirit of joy. It is not expecting perfection in each other. It is cultivating flexibility, patience, understanding, and a sense of humor. It is having capacity to forgive and forget. It is establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal, the dependence is mutual, and the obligation is reciprocal. It is a common search for the good and the beautiful. It's not marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. It is discovering that your love for one another, at its best, will never lose sight of or be blotted out by the commonplace experiences of life. And it is remembering that remaining devoted, confident, and hopeful in one another are the secret ingredients, which will help you to remain two very happy, happy people, re richer for your oneness. <clears throat> Dean and Jody see this ceremony today as a strong commitment to their relationship. They call you together, their friends and their family, to make this commitment clear to you and to call on your acknowledgement and support. They publicly call on each other to take the relationship more seriously too. They recognize that they are very happy with one another, they recognize that they would not be happier with anyone else and that no distant fields are greener. But there is another element to all of this. They love each other. They will each other's good. They will each other's success, fulfillment, and happiness. They know that the main danger in marriage is the danger of taking each other for granted, of not appreciating, of not appreciating each other enough. So they want to stay aware of each other. They know they must communicate with each other and be open to communication. And this, they know, is a lot harder than it sounds, for words must be said softly and listened to carefully. The relationship must be sustained by the will to express it, with the loving word, the loving smile, the loving embrace, the loving favor, and the giving with graciousness and generosity. They know not to take without giving, or to give without taking. A true lover knows what the demands of love can sometimes cost, so they will be sensitive and appreciative, and they 
mind themselves today that they must do these things without dominating or suffocating the other. And they know that this is what it means to be married. Marriage is not a legal document. No pastor or priest or justice of the peace can create a marriage because a marriage, truly, is nothing except the promises made and kept by two individuals. Today, Dean and Jody stand before us to publicly declare their love and to share with us their marriage promises. Dean, what promises do you make? To you, my dear Jody, make these sacred and heartfelt promises on this, our wedding day. I promise to love you until the end of time, to be your faithful, loyal companion for the rest of our lives. I promise to walk by your side, sharing our joys and our sorrows, finding our efforts to realize our dreams and highest goodness. I promise to share my family with you, to always hold your family with you, as our family joins us in one. I promise to respect you and see you always in the very best light. Do you make? To you, my dear Dean, I make these sacred and heartfelt promises on this our wedding day. I promise to love you until the end of all time, to be your faithful and loyal companion for the rest of our lives. I promise to walk by your side, sharing our joys and our sorrows, and combining our efforts to realize our dreams and highest purpose in life. I promise to share my family with you and always hold your family dear as our families join into one on this day. I promise to respect you and see you always in the very best light, forever believing in the goodness of you. I promise to nurture our love and hold it dear in the safest and most precious part of my heart, protecting and defending it until my last breath, forsaking all others for you. We are one in body, spirit. Dean and Jody have brought rings to present to one another as a symbol of their marriage vows today. And although there is no precise evidence to explain the origin of tradition of exchanging of wedding rings, there are two strongly held beliefs. The more recent, dating back to the 17th century, explains that during a Christian wedding, the priest arrived at the fourth finger, counting the thumb, after touching the three fingers on the left hand, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. The more ancient and widely accepted explanation refers to the early Egyptians' belief that a circle was a symbol of eternity, a sign that life, happiness, and love have no beginning and no end. A wedding ring, or a circle, was placed on the third finger of the left hand. The finger, because it was traditionally believed that this finger was the direct connection to the heart, the perfect spot to place the symbol representing eternal love and commitment. The vena amoris, that is, the vein of love, runs directly from the ring finger to the heart. Now I ask that God bless these rings that Dean and Jody exchange as a symbol of their love and fidelity. Dean, in placing this ring on Jody's finger, repeat after me. I give you this ring as a pledge of my love and as the symbol of our unity. and placing this ring on Dean's finger, repeat after me. I give you this ring, I give you this ring as a pledge of my love, as a pledge of my love and as a symbol of our unity. Of two lives, two people, so very different yet so similar. Together we stand as one, sharing our future as it comes past is just that, the past. Buds are yet to blossom. With care and trust, the best is to be revealed. Honesty and kindness are the fruits of, are the fruits of love. Lord, bless this day and always to enrich us so our love will never end. You have declared before us all that you will live together in marriage. 
You have made special promises to each other, which have been symbolized by the joining of hands, the taking of vows, and the giving and receiving of two rings. Now, with the authority vested in me by the Church of Universal Life in the state of Ohio, I pronounce you to be husband and wife. And what God hath here joined together, let no one set asunder. Dean, may I kiss the bride. I present to you for the first time in holy matrimony, Mr. and Mrs. Evans.